Well, hello everyone and welcome back to Farthest Frontier. I hope you're all doing well today. Now, if you remember, we were having some severe clothing issues and death. We can't seem to break past this number. Um, and I think it was down to our shoe issue. Now, I have, I've bought over 100 or so in, but they're constantly gone. So we did take it upon our on ourselves to get more hunter shacks. And we've also put in the barn right here. Now, I'm going to get that upgraded so we can use the planks. And we will try and bring that one up to 20 where possible as well. That will give us four farms. Uh, we did have the traders come in. Not a lot going on with them. Absolutely rinse their money here and they don't really have anything left for us. So our biggest thing now is making sure we can... Hopefully we can kill that because that might be another pound. It's probably going to run away though. But yeah, everywhere our villagers go outside of the gates it is more, more issues here but... If we can get, I don't know if you get pelts from the boar as well, that's what we need. But I hope you're all well guys, you remember the attack kind of ruined us here with the desirability. So I'm going to up this so we can get that sorted. Let's speed it up and we'll get the, hopefully the desirability back on these. And I think today we're going to carry on with our walls here. And I am actually going to get in a third layer. Now, I'm going to start here just because it's a bit of a pain, this whole area. So we'll go up to here. Get a couple of gates in, so we'll get a third one. Going to help a lot, I think. And then we'll move on to the other side when we can as well. That should be fine. And we're hitting a, another trader here. That is awesome. So, what have you got for me? More clothes, I hope. No. Okay. Um, What can we do here? There's not a lot going. I will buy in the stone because we just have a lot of money anyway. Uh, let's grab in a bit of coal. There is beer we can sell to this guy. So, we'll do that and grab in some more money. I'm not going to transfer in any more linen clothes because they were complaining. So I'm going to wait until there's a surplus on that before we do it. Um, and then we'll be, we'll be fine at the moment, I think. Let's have a look here. We've got issues at the potter here. What? How did you die? Old age. So if we look here, this elderly number is just going higher and higher no matter what. So uh, yeah, we need... Something's got to give shortly, you know. We, we did build another doctor's here in hopes that would help as well. They do seem to be getting cured. But our biggest issue is no one has bloody clothes looking in here look all they've got is some have high coats no shoes um, it does it seems no one has shoes on like at all uh some have some weapons some don't so any surplus they kind of grab it if they work in that but it doesn't look like any people from what i see use at all so yeah we'll, we'll work our, on our best to get those back as well so that's fine we should sort desirability here after this is yep there we go both desirabilities are fixed there as well. But yeah, guys, thank you for the love on the videos as always. If you have any suggestions on fixing what we have or if you've been having population issues here as well, let me know because uh, it's, it's it's causing me a bit of grief, actually. We've had a couple of hours in game now where we haven't even broken out of this number. Like, I just leave it running and uh, yeah, past three in-game years, we haven't gained any population, which is kind of worrying considering the birth rate is there. Happiness, they couldn't be any happier, really. Our only issue is the clothing, but it's not even that bad if you look. If I was to go into here, we have 64% shoes. So it's not... Some of your villagers are without shoes. It's not all of them. They're all dressed. Um, they have all the luxuries. 99%. 100% beer. 99 family. Everything is looking good. But we just constantly have people dying to illness. Uh, Food-wise, we are pretty damn good as well. We've upped the numbers here. We've got more scavengers, more foresters. Uh, we've got more hunters. We did build another one being built here, actually. Let's get that one done as well. Let's focus on pushing that one through so we can pick up two deer spots here actually and then i'm making sure that our guards are good as well because yeah the attacks are pretty nasty uh we are now in a minus for some reason i think it's down to our construction here uh we'll keep an eye on that we should be fine because of the amount of food we have everywhere to be honest but i'm going to uh, go ahead and get a second one in there and get that one upgraded as well we're not going to en encompass that one i think it'll be fine so that leaves five hours at this gate here uh, with the third lot of walls, I think we should be in a good spot anyway. They've built that really, really fast, and that was on 1x as well. So I'm going to continue this along here. Wasn't quite expecting them to do that so fast, so that's great. Uh, and we'll go up to this point here. Uh, but other than that, I haven't got any, any plans other than trying to build the population. I've got a little bit more decoration to do on this area, but I don't want to rinse through my money now. I'm keeping an eye on it, um, just in case. Now, I'm tempted to potentially, what's the cost of this? Monthly cost is this. So I'm going to 
toggle this building off. I don't think it's needed. It didn't make any difference on what we're doing here. Uh, cured there. That's great. Um, I'm going to get in another well. So we're going to up our well production here. I think water's good. It's just I want it covered in the new areas down here. Uh, so we did have a well there. Actually, we should be fine. I'm um, just hovering through to see the little blue icons as they pop up. Just to make sure we've got everything we need. I think we're good, actually. But yeah, if you look, look, constant, isn't it? Foot wound. The foot wound's a bit, a bit of a big one, really. Anyway, let's get through this winter period and then we'll carry on. All right, we're still having massive issues with this. So I'm going to get two more cobbler shops down. Um, they're constantly getting ill, constantly dying. I hate even hovering over this because the elderly just gets more and more. It's horrendous. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of stuck because... Well, I'm really stuck. It's, nothing's growing, nothing's going on. Um, we do have nine in here. I'm going to put this straight to eight. Just because in a year or two, that's going to be pretty much full. Um, we should have some more going shortly. But yeah, it's kind of hard, really. Um, clothing's fine. I'm just trying to keep on top. It's all going downhill here because the... We are at a minus here now due to the amount of towers we put. I don't know. It's done it again. It did it last time I played. I went from like a 500, 600 a month surplus down to the next year being in a minus. And I didn't change anything. I've got all the resources they need to be buying as well. So I, it's kind of weird. And I'm not I'm not too sure why it does it. So I still think there's issues there. But that's okay. We, we, we continue on anyway. I'll just make sure there's some items to sell. Um, I do think we can go back to putting some more clothes in now. I don't think that's the problem. It's more the boots more than anything. Um, and our pelts here, so that's fine. We do have the pelts. We just don't have anyone making anything, you know. But we'll, we'll see where we're at. Um, we have a big surplus of bricks now because nothing's really upgrading. So I'm going to put some of those in in the hopes that we can probably sell some. And then we should be fine as well. Uh, all th other things, yeah, we're okay. We're okay. I might even... Nah, we're fine. What I am going to do is reduce this one down. So we're going to take that one down to 20. I'm going to put two more over here, I think. We've got like a, a little bit better of a split that we can micromanage with two, two barracks there. Uh, this one will... If I upgrade this one, it'll be in shooting range as well, which will be ideal as well. But that's okay. Everything else is, is fine. All right, another trader here. Still no, still no luck on the, the berths here. That's fine. Uh, let's sell those to you now this could be a good oh here we go there's no spices in so we're gonna have to spend a bit of cash on that no problem um i don't think okay we will go ahead and do the cheese i, I do need to basically make money where i can here but um yeah we're struggling with the furniture again now out of nowhere as well which is really really strange um i'll keep transferring in it looks like we should be okay to transfer in a whole bunch of that but this trader hasn't really got much for me either that's fine we'll, we'll keep doing that though and we'll basically hope that the next one's got some more shoes we are ticking over though on the clothing it's not it's not the best it's not the worst you know and i think we'll get in some more wool here so if you remember we were on that one so we're going to bring this down to here and we'll grab this up to this corner as well i don't think this one yeah it's all a bit dodgy here <laughs> it doesn't like that hill so we'll, we'll go to where we can there we probably need to flatten that one no problem that once and then we should be good we're still on the same numbers nothing changing they're all just dying to everything foot wounds worms elderly numbers still too high so we're, yeah we're kind of stuck at the moment oh here we go <laughs> something good's happened 14 people are arrived at your village they've plans to immigrate we'll take them in takes us up to 770 i'm pretty sure this will be back down to 760 in a minute anyway but that's fine um yeah elderly numbers still gradually creeping up we don't get as many births as we do people growing up so that's the problem here um still not seeing much happen um i guess we just got to pray for the the immigrations to kind of happen really um food looks like it's dipped a fair bit as well but look at this we're now back the so ah it was the spices okay all right all right it was the spices now we know what was going on we weren't able to sell those were we we're now back in a pretty hefty surplus so that's fine uh, i'm going to continue putting these in now i don't think this is our problem here but again we'll, we'll hopefully get some more pelts we have the pelts we have some coats the coats seem to be ticking over a little bit better than the shoes but um i wish they'd just wear armor but yeah look at this we've got we've just got shoe shops everywhere now i might even get one more in or even 
you know, we just get loads, I guess. We can fit them in all over the place, so why not? Let's get two more there. <laughs> this is just absolutely jam-packed full of workers, so... Uh, now, I've just realised... Look at this. Our second graveyard's now full up. Hmm, it's time to build a new graveyard. Let's do that. Oh my god, I've never had this, this much of an issue. Um, I guess we just... Like a long graveyard here there we go that's for all the new deaths that we're gonna have i would love to get to 800 just to make oh my god it went to 772 straight down to 769 three villagers have died from old age lovely wow this is a story of my life right here i'm gonna look a bit more now into our industry here so as we are now in a position i think candles is another one we can do i'm gonna start getting some more people in so um, let's start with candles. Where are you, my friend? You're down here somewhere, aren't you, Fletcher? There it is. Candle shop. Take you to the candle shop, baby. Okay, so we have room for a candly shop over here, right behind the other one. So let's plonk that in there. Don't think... Oh, we can fit another one. I'm going to get another one here. So we're going to start looking at selling some more candles here. I think it's a good idea because we have a stupid amount of uh, wax right here. It's actually insane. Um, everything else is ticking over. Our coal is really nice now, and our sand is ticking over. It's, we got enough what we need. We are going to run out, though. That's the only downside. Now, food looks pretty good to me. Um, everything else, though, not so much. So we uh, we kind of need to get on top of still the shoes. Uh, we could maybe get one more furniture, but that spice has just disappeared so fast. So we're going to need to buy some more of that in as well when we can. I might keep the gold flowing into the trade center where we can as well it doesn't need to sit in in our inventory here so that's fine um i'm actually gonna do something here so these bears are really really bugging me i'm gonna just I'm gonna flag this out here and i'm gonna kill i'm gonna go and kill all the animals out here <laughs> with my uh, soldiers because there's boars and stuff out here there is a maybe a hunter's shack here just to deal with that maybe that might be what we need to do so let's grab one of those as well uh, let's pop the hunter's cabin just here, and then we can set this around this area as well. It's causing us all sorts of problems. Anyway, here we go then. So we are going to be coming into year 73 here. Nothing really has changed. Um, we're still, again, I think with the houses we have, once they're upgraded fully, we're going to gain two more in there. So four, that'll take us to 970, and then these will almost, maybe we need one, one or two more houses, which we've got room here for anyway. And that will upgrade and we'll be in a really, really good spot. I'm loving the town, though. It's nice that we've now fleshed out this bottom bit. Um, Tower-wise, I'm not sure whether to get one or two more in here. I'm going to hold on. I think we're okay with the third layer of wall here. Uh, we've gone up to here now. We should be able to get the rest of this wall in over here. Do that after we flattened it. Lovely. I don't think we're going to be able to go along here. So we're going to need to kind of do something weird. So we'll try that, I think. We might be able to build on there anyway, so we'll try that first. It looks like we might be able to. The answer is yes. Beautiful. So we'll get the third layer there. And then once that's flattened, we'll do this one as well. I have already put the gates on everywhere. Oh my god, they're just dying and dying. Nothing going on here, just death. Uh, yeah, we've got the third gates everywhere now, so we are pretty much ready to go. Um, and then we should be fine. I'm going to try potentially and see what's going on here but as you can see that that number just keeps going down keeps going down i can't do anything so yeah how are we looking on our farms now 11 in there so we should the good thing about this is once that hits 20 we'll be having more pelts from that as well more food all that jazz shouldn't need more than four farms though and then maybe yeah it's, it's difficult now because maybe we put a farm in here hmm a food farm over here that just purely veg. I might do that, you know. I'm feeling that. I'm feeling that with a bit of a fence around it. I think that could be pretty good. Doesn't affect desirability, so why the heck not? You know, we'll go as big as we can. Uh, maybe, maybe that. We go more. Go that. That'll do nicely. Let's get a little fence around this one as well, and we'll start working on that just to just in case. You know, you never know. Uh, we'll bring this all the way around. Then we'll bring this up to here, and we'll pop a little gate in that end bit as well. And then I'm, I'm pretty happy that should cover all our food needs. Uh, villagers being killed, we're fine there. Everything looks solid across the board. I'm going to keep transferring in these bricks, because that could be a good money earner here. 
I'm going to go straight to 500. We should be good there. We've got plenty of clothing as well. And I think everything else will... Uh, let's keep the baskets coming as well. I'm pretty sure a trader will be coming for those soon. Uh, cheese we can knock back up to 500. We're ready with the honey as well. Uh, here we go. So please have some clothing. Yes, 54. Good start. We need boots. We need shoes. Yes, reduce rate. Bring them in. Oh, we might be able to get somewhere here. Oh, soap. Now, is that an issue here? That might be our dysentery issue. Oh, look at this. An increased rate. We're going to make them all the monies here. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're good. We're good. Um, Let's just buy in some of the soap then. Take all 68 soap. That should help us while we're here. I'm going to buy in a little bit more wood. Uh, they don't have a lot, so we'll just take it all. And then that's fine. Uh, let's look at the soap shop here. Look at this, though. The number just keeps going down. It's funny. Uh, if, as long as we can maintain the immigration ones, I guess, we're fine. But yeah, we're looking for the soap, soapy house. So that is... Where's my soap house? There it is. Right. This requires tallow. Now, this is a bad desirability building. So. Hmm. Hey, you could, go, you could slot in up here. A bit far away, though. Uh, we're kind of stuck for space now. I thought we had enough. We might just have to build up here, you know. I think that's okay. We can bring a little road up here anyway. But we can't. Okay, too close to the water. That's fine. Uh, those shoes do not last two seconds. We can't even... We just can't. Oh, it's looking a bit better here, though, if we look. So we're 83%. Just food now. Food supplies are low and you're malnourished. You shouldn't be malnourished. This shouldn't be a problem for our, our thingy here. We've got a good mix of everything. We're probably on a year where not much is coming in. Um, it should be fine, though, with what we have. Check in here. I think we're covering... Yeah, he's got traps set up here, so I might might just pop him up to maybe two do two traps there that'll help uh, we need that for the soap as well so that's that's why we need these these hunter shacks here uh, money's still looking pretty solid though so i'm not too concerned at all um it looks like we'll be able to sell the rest of these to this guy as well and then we'll leave that we'll, we'll keep the money i can see another trader here which we'll wait for as well right just as that's coming in i think one of my biggest lessons learned for this game is cobbler shops right so I'm I'm now going to make sure that I just never, never fall into this trap ever again where cobbler shops are going to be an issue. I'm going to buy in all that stone. I'm going to buy in some smoky fish to stop him complaining. And I think we can sell a little bit of pottery to this guy. I don't think we have much else. We're going to be able to pump up the candles soon into here. I'm going to start filling that one up as well. But everything is pretty solid. I think we'll leave that. We do have iron ore's a problem, so I'm going to actually buy in. I'm going to buy in all that iron, actually, as well. we got the gold in here to play with, haven't we? Uh, maybe a couple of swords. Go, oh, maybe eight. That'll do. And then we're good. Lovely stuff. They're still dying, though, left and right. Uh, I think we do have two spare. That's fine. We've got a good amount of weapons. Nice. Uh, tools seem to always have some in stock now, which is wonderful. Oh, look at that. Five new villagers bought. See, this is what more would be expecting with what we have, which is perfect. The infants don't seem to really die from anything, so it would be ideal. I might get another... We need a rat catcher. There's only a couple of houses complaining. I think we're fine. It is really funny whilst I'm sat here. It's just death after death. Like, it's so funny, man. We had those five births at nothing. Crops being lost to disease. They'll be fine as well. We did get another trader in. I'm begging... Oh, bricks. Oh, yes. Let's go. All the pouts. We'll take all those. Take all your jackets. Don't care how much they cost. Got any shoes, mate, whilst you're here? I'm actually going to buy in the two cows as well. I think that's probably a really good idea. And there's more stone. And then we're going to sell back all of these bricks. This is going to make us an absolute chunky amount of money. I'm going to take all your gold. There we go. Look at that for a trade. That is an epic trade. And we'll carry on putting bricks in as well. And there, because we got so much of it. There we go. He's got no gold left, and we're going to pop both all the cows in there. So that one's now at 13. So we'll try and bring that one up a little bit quicker. I think a couple more years, that'll be maxed out. So we're on, yeah, 13. So probably two or three more years, and we should be getting more pouts from that as well. Um, let's look in on our new cobbler shops here. <laughs> yeah, look at it. It's so silly. Cobbler shop row, we'll call this. And I'm going to go round, actually, and just 
name a couple of my members in, in our buildings. Club number one. Sonia. I, I didn't do it a while back. So did I did I do that? Yeah, I did. There you go. You are now in the pub. All right. Bobby, we're doing it again, mate. You're going into here. I'm sorry, mate. Go get the three Bs. I'm not actually that sorry. There you go. You are once again shoveling the you know what. Thank you for being a member. <laughs> All right, we got a couple more. I'm going to name someone in the wagon shop as well. So we're going to go. I don't know if you're sometimes don't know if you're male or female. So sorry about that. Uh, Carl H. Thank you very much, my friend. You are awesome. Just picking random ones. So uh, we've got Scott. Thank you so much, Scott. Scott J. Absolute legend. Who wants to be selling snake oil? There we go. We have uh, Kirsty Lee. There you go. A little bit weird c comparing the names to this, but let's get. I I'm sorry if you die, but you will be kind of soldiers for me as well, you know. There you go, Indy. Thank you very much. You are awesome. Who do we got? We got Brucey Boy. Let's get Bruce. You can be... I don't want to put you as a soldier, because if you die, you know, I can put you in the towers, maybe. Bruce G, I appreciate you. Thank you very much. And uh, the remaining ones, if you want to if you want to work a certain area, just, just let me know. Um, I don't want to spend all episode doing it, but just do tell me if there is one. I haven't named you. You are a member. Uh, just drop it in there, and I'll, I will name someone after you. Right, let's get the rest of this wall done now. So I know I've wasted a little bit of time there. We're kind of just waiting to see if the population fixes itself at the moment. Um, that's okay. I'm going to bring ooh, another merchant, what we like to hear. I'm going to bring this as far as it will let me for now. Before we can flatten. We're going to be pretty strong down here, so that's pretty good. I'm also going to come along this bit. I think a layer of three is going to be all we need anyway. Let's start with that. We have so much stone to be able to do this. Let's check in on this trader, though. So, there. Uh, iron, there we go. You can actually smelt some iron. I'm going to buy all of that. Um, nothing else we need here. There's still the fishes. Nothing we can really sell. I'm, I'm hold. Oh, we can sell those actually. I'm holding on to the, uh, the beer until it's a little bit higher because we've just put another pub in. And I don't want to risk it. Got to be really careful with that. We're going to sell the medicines as well. Oh, that's a big money actually. I didn't even realise. That's pretty good. It is. It is increasing. So a decent little earner there, and we'll, we'll start to put more candles in where we can as well because we did our candle shop, which was right here. So we are going to up that to four and we also have our soap shop so we're gonna up that to four as well there we go we're looking good as you can see population still not changed <laughs> you new villagers born you ready two deaths you ready oh there's one i heard it <laughs> there's two. Oh my god see two from old age it is hilarious it just it's just yeah two for two every single time the look at this now we did kind of fix it we're pretty good. Your villagers are all wearing shoes, apparently. So we are pretty good. Um, just need to get the food going a little bit more. So, yeah, I don't think there's much else we can do with the, the illnesses here. We should see less people with foot wounds, at least, than dying. So that should help. Um, let me guess. The predators are now attacking. Now I've moved the dam. That one's going to die as well. Lovely stuff. Hopefully he takes his eye onto the next one. Get onto the road, and they can usually run a little bit quicker. So can the bear, apparently. Right, you got away. Lovely stuff. Uh, we did have a issue here. So we've got powdery mildew. But bees, peas, but wheat, carrot. We haven't got that at all coming up. But I think we're fine there. This 100% fertility is amazing. And we have an impending blizzard. Seems to happen all the time. Bit of influenza breakout as well, which is occurring. But that's fine. I think we can go ahead and turn this one back on. And there we go. We set our wall all the way up to here now as we come out this winter period. So we should be good. Now, we've just got this bit. So if, even if they attack at the gate bit now, they've got a third gate to get through. So an extra 1,200. If you're wondering, the they have 300 HP less. So they would probably then go for the walls. That's fine. I think this bit's fairly strong. I'm not too concerned. This one's not very strong. That one, when they get in, actually does have good vantage points. But again, barracks is here. So we can just bring that straight over anyway. One set of barracks being pretty full is good. All right, here comes our merchants. As you can still see, we're years later. Still nothing here. Oh, candles. We've been putting those in. That's really good. Um, can we do anything here, though? I was hoping you had more pelts, but that's okay. I'm going to sell you all the candles. A good amount already, and we'll get the pottery in as well. That's pretty much all their money gone already. Um, everything else, I don't think we need to worry about. We might need to buy some more wooden, potentially. I'll probably buy 
all their stone from them as we're building so much of the wall. We could get a fourth layer in. Might be a bit overkill, but we'll keep doing it anyway. I've been gradually filling up on all of these as well. Um, it's been pretty good, actually. But I'm quite happy with where we're at, especially bricks, man. They are coming in handy now. Look that lightning strikes caused the freeze here. There we go. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep topping that up as well. If we can get another one that's buying bricks, that'd be awesome. All right, I'm going to build the wall as far as I can. I think we can go a good chunk. Oh, God, we're being raided. We're being raided. All right, we're going to set the wall up here a second, and then we'll come back to that. So, 176. Decided they want to come down the bottom now. Oh, my God. Look how many battering rams there are. Soldiers. Assemble. Now, the good news here is we did flag a good combat area here so i'm just going to bring these guys towards here this one we have a good eight in this one now so i'm not too worried we're going to flag these here we do have the tripled wall here so i think be okay these guys are running at the wall they are now starting to come shielded this is interesting very spread around here but i think these towers are going to do big work to these guys if i'm honest like really big work i don't think they're going to last very long Let's see. Kind of see. They might. They stay pretty spread here. They're not going to be able to do too much. So, yeah, if we can stop anyone actually dying, it'll be ideal. These are pretty shielded, though. That's four villagers born. That's nice. There we go. I, I don't think they're going to get through here. Okay, it looks like we've sent this to the right place. This is awesome. I'm going to flag this right here. Click it. Thank you. Hey, look at the villagers dying, eh? Killed by raiders? Lovely. Just what we need. Wow, they're already through a gate. It's not going to take them long to get in here. So I think we may even put it down a little bit further. I might move the flag behind here. We're kind of pincer, pincer the main bulk here. Let's check in on everything else, though. No. Oh, we got a little bit of an attack over here. Uh, nah, they're not going to get in. Uh, everywhere else looks pretty good. They've decided to come down the bottom here. These guys are very silly spreading out here. Uh, that's a big chunk too. But I do think this tower is going to hold them. I really do. I think this tower will hold them. Yeah, it's sending them packing. That's fine. And these two here are sending these ones packing too. That's good. Uh, this, not so much. Here we go. Soldiers are just going to clean up from behind. This is going to be pretty awesome. And here comes the cavalry right here. So I'm leaving it at half speed because it's so damn laggy right now. Um, we could end up losing these. Need to be careful. I'll let them shoot the back here. See if we can speed up to 1x. Yep, that's good. So what they should be shooting them. Don't shoot this one. Shoot these. Yes. Right, there we go. And here they come. Here they come. So they're shooting them in the back here. This kind of helps massively. I'll be honest with you. That is a nice chunky amount they've just brought down as well. And these guys should start shooting them in the back as well. Which is good. I think they've got stuck in. They've gone amongst it now. There are two gates in. Here they go. Here go the rest joining in. And we've got one lone soldier just hacking them all in the back there with his uh, with his sword. Did he die? He has he's literally gone in. Look, they've just pincered them in. Oh, I love it. Dealt with that perfectly. That was quite a strong attack as well. Quite scary now. We are oh wow. Absolutely send them all packing. They did get through one here, but no, those towers are doing a good job. Now you're still deciding you want to go. That tower should Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And they're just casually building around them as well. We did lose couple but that's fine that was a very solid defense i was a little bit scared of the double ram there but no we were fine we were more than fine so we well done guys turn to barracks you served very well uh yeah splitting these up a little bit more paid off really well so let's check in on the uh well let's first rebuild the structures actually it was two here there's one over the other side and I think we did those. They didn't get in anywhere else, did they? We're rebuilt, rebuilding. It must be over this end that they managed to break in as well. Yeah, there it is. Lovely. Right, let's check in on the trader then before we uh, before we end this one out as well. So we are still none the wiser on population. 
but ah, fine here we go now this is good 94 pelts we'll get all of those in uh clothing we'll grab those in as well now if i find medicinal root i will be buying that in as well uh just for the sake of having it now we could buy the clothing at a reduced rate oh there it is Med herbs that's what we need take some herbs that definitely helps we need that for the soap uh it's pretty cheap actually let's just yeah, let's just buy loads and i think it lasts quite a while as well and then everything else we'll just we'll just leave as is that's perfect but guys thank you for watching as always you are awesome so smash that thumbs up for me and obviously drop a little hello in the comments if you are new around here please do consider subbing to the channel and obviously if you do have any ideas on how i deal with the problems we're having with births and deaths then do let me know because i can't see a way out of it at the moment um i mean look at this for the sakes <laughs> it's absolutely wild but guys take it easy i'll catch you in the next one